Hi guys, so we're going to do motive one of all night long. A motive is a small musical idea that is often repeated. Okay, much of your music for the grand finale is assembled in motives instead of our standard A, B, A, A, A prime, so on and so forth kind of structure. Okay, so the motive one here, we're gonna break down in three different ways. It's majorly a rhythmic motive, seeing as it does not actually change pitch, okay? So we have to break it down verbally, then we break it down on an open string, and then we do it with the fingers, okay? Now, we do need to talk right at the beginning here. So the time signature here is 4-4, four, four, which means four beats per measure, and the chord note gets the beat. So the count here is going to be one, two, three, four. Now you see this large two with the bar? That means that you rest for two full measures. You will count that like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. This help us, helps us keep track with how many measures we've actually been resting, okay? Once you've done two of those, you end up here at this rhythmic structure. Once again, notice it has not changed. So we have eighth, eighth, quarter, dotted quarter, eight. Full measure of rest, so you'll count four here. Okay? Now, with the dotted quarter here, there it is, what that means is you elongate that quarter note by half of its value. So where an, a quarter note usually equals two eighths, correct, it now equals three, all right? Now, we are going to break this down rhythm, rhythmically, verbally first. What I want you to do is clap the tempo so that your hands are gonna stay really steady. You're going to say ta for the rhythm. I will show you here, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. Okay? What I did was I counted in a measure just so I knew where I was. I did the rhythm and then I did that full measure of rest. Once again, that is right, whoop, right here. Right there. Okay, full measure of rest. So let's do it together. Okay? Count in four. Do the rhythm and then clap four silently. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to do it twice in a row. We'll do the counting and then we'll do that rhythm twice. Ready? One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ta. Ta 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 ta. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to do it on an open string. I would recommend doing it on the D because that's what you're going to be playing on. Okay. So count in again. One, two, three, four. Okay, you can perhaps hear my foot tapping. Once again, one, two, three, four. Four. Okay, you have to make that last eighth note pretty darn short. Okay, um, then we're gonna do it with the finger. This is a low two. So instead of putting your second finger on the tape, you're gonna pull it back so it's almost touching the one. You see that? There you go. Not that, that. Low two, this is called an F natural on the D string. So, it's kind of weird, huh? So, one, two, three, four. Two, three, 
four. Okay, now we're going to do that twice in a row. Just like that. We will do a little bit of a circle there just so you start each of them on a down. Okay? That's motive one. Happy practicing.